In this lab, we want to create a port channel interface between the switch and the firewall. We'll create three separate VLANs, each with a layer 3 interface on the 40 gate. And so the switch is going to play a purely layer 2 function. So let's start first by creating the VLANs and the switch port interfaces according to the diagram. Let's go into our global configuration mode. Config team. VLAN 10. Name. Prod. VLAN 20. Name dev VLAN 30 will be test VLAN 30 Name test Okay, that first part is done Now we need to put PC1 in VLAN 10 PC220 PC3 in VLAN 30 Interface is 00 Switch port mode Access We're statically defining this as an access port Switch port Access, VLAN 10, no shot. Interface is 01, switch port mode, access. And then switch port access, VLAN 20, no shot. Then the last interface is 02. Interface is 02, switch port mode, access. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 30. Also, no shot. Okay, the next thing is to create our Ether channel interface on port E0, E10, and E11. And for this, we're going to use the interface range command. Interface range E10 to E11. I'll give this a description, a link to 48. Channel group one mode. There's several modes that we can choose here for port aggregation, but we're just going to define it statically. Mode will be on. Our interface port channel one just came up. So now we go to our ether channel interface and configure that as a layer two trunk. Interface port channel one, switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q and switch port mode trunk and our ether channel just came up so next i want to create the same ether channel interface on the 40 gate we go to network interfaces we create a new interface i'm just going to call this aggregate zero one and paste that over there and the type is aggregate and the interface members here are going to be port 1 and port 2. We don't define an IP address for this because it's a layer 2 interface. Our interface looks OK. It's a LAN interface. And we click on OK. Now we have our aggregate interface. The next thing is to define the VLANs using this aggregate interface. So we create our, v our first VLAN, which is VLAN 10, prod. We'll just call this prod. I'll paste that. The interface type is VLAN and it's going to hang off the aggregate 01 interface we just created and the VLAN ID is going to be VLAN 10 and the IP address here is going to be 10.10.10.1 slash 24. I want to enable ping on this interface as well as DHCP server. For DHCP server, I'm just going to make the scope start from 200. That looks okay. We create our second VLAN this one will be dev, also type VLAN. It's going to hang off aggregate 01 interface. The VLAN ID is 20, and the subnet is going to be 10.10.10, I mean 10.10.20.1 slash 24. I'll also allow ping on this interface, create our DHCP server, have the scope start from IP 200. Now onto the last one, interface. This one is test, test, hanging off aggregate interface we just created and the VLAN ID is 30 10.10.30.1/24 also allow ping the same thing again DHCP server the scope is going to start from 200 up to 254 all right now we have our aggregate interface 
we have our VLAN interface. We need to now create a firewall policy. So the next thing that we're going to do is to create an our inter VLAN policy. And for that, I'm just going to use any VLAN as the source and any VLAN as the destination. And to do that, I want to create this in, in CLI. I want to create this in CLI because it'll be easier and quicker. Config, firewall policy, edit one, set source interface any, set destination interface any, set source address all, set destination address all, set service all, set schedule always, set action accept. So now we have our inter VLAN policy and it looks good to me. Now let's move on to our verifications. So on switch one, we want to check the status of E0, E00, E01, and E02. Show interface E00. Switch port. The thing that we're interested in here is the administrative mode. The switch port is configured in static access and it's operating as static access. It is in the VLAN, VLAN 10, which is named prod. This is, this looks good. This is what we want to see. Moving on to E01, exactly the same thing. Now let's, let's verify our ether channel interface. Show ether, ether channel summary. Now looking at this, we can see that our port channel has the tags SU, which is um, capital S, capital U, which means it's a layer two interface and it is currently in use. When you look at the member interfaces, one zero and one one have the tag P, um, capital P, which means these are bundled and they're in the ether channel. Now let's check one last thing. Show spanning tree summary. We have three VLANs, VLAN 10, 20, and 30. Now they are both operating and they are both, they are all in the forwarding state. Show spanning tree interface port 01. And also when we look at our port channel one interface, it does carry VLAN 10, 20, and 30. And it's in the forwarding state. So everything looks good for me. Now the next thing is to connect to our PCs and then see if they get an IP address. We start with PC one and just simply run DHCP. It looks like our DHCP service is not running. Now, let's have a look at our 40 gate. Config system interface edit prod. Let's have a look at this interface. I think the only statement that's missing here is the VLAN protocol. Let's configure that. Set VLAN protocol 8021Q. Next, we'll do that for dev and test. Set VLAN protocol 8021Q. Edit test. Set VLAN protocol 8021Q. Now let's try again. Looks like it's still not working. Now let's have a look at our aggregate interface itself. Config system interface. Edit aggregate 01. Let's have a look at that. So what I want to do here is to define this as a static ether channel interface or a static aggregate interface instead of a dynamically created um, ether channel interface. Set LACP mode. And then if you tab, you'll see that there's a couple of options. So what we want to do is to define it as a static, just like we did on the switch. All right, let's do one more test on the PC, on PC1. And this time around, it looks like it worked. Let's go to PC2. It also works. We have the discovery, the offer, the request, and the acknowledgement. Last but not least, over to PC3, and it also works. So our DHCP scopes, you'd remember they start from IP 200. So now let's ping from PC1 
because we have our firewall policy, let's ping the next two PCs, PC2 and PC3. Ping 10.10.20.200. Ping the 10.10.30.200. And that also works. I believe this brings us to the end of this one. I'll catch you in the next one.